everyone out there in Jamberry world. It is Angela with Beauty and Jams, and I just wanted to talk to you today about cuticles. Now, ever since National Conference this past June, um, we've gotten lots and lots of questions about a sort of a buzzword, and that is invisible cuticles. What are visible, invisible cuticles? How do they impact your Jamberry nail wraps? And how do we get rid of them? Well, an invisible cuticle, just so you know what we're talking about, is a part of the cuticle that actually grows out onto the surface of your fingernail. Now, the reason that you wanna make sure you do not have any invisible cuticle on the layer of your fingernail when you apply your wraps is that we know that you want your wraps to adhere to a fingernail, not skin. And cuticle is a form of skin that is dead. So if we if we have it adhere to the cuticle, or if we have it adhered to the cuticle, it's gonna lift up in the back or it's gonna lift and ripple on the sides. Um, your cuticle does run the entire, let me do this, the entire U shape of your nail. A lot of times we think of pushing back our cuticles just being this portion right here, which is the back U shape of your, your nail, but your cuticle part runs all the way around here. So when we do talk about pushing back cuticles and worrying about your invisible cuticle, we're talking about that entire horseshoe of your nail, okay? So your invisible cuticle could, if you're having, if you're having wrinkling or buckling around that, that area of your nail, uh, where, it, where it should in theory meet your, uh, your fingernail, it could be invisible cuticle. Uh, one of the, actually, one of the most common mistakes is that your nail wrap is a little bit too big, but if you do have a correct size of nail wrap where you have some nail, a nail, sliver of nail showing on either side, it could be that you are actually on cuticle. And you're like, but I pushed back my cuticles. I really thought I did. Well, that's when this sneaky little invisible guy gets under there and starts working his way and lifting up. Okay, so how do we get rid of this invisible cuticle or even know that it's there? Um, first, if you're having issues, just assume that it, it is, okay? Um, you do need one of these little guys. This is what we like to call Jamberry Purple Gold. This is the cuticle pusher that comes in our Jamberry application kit. The application kit is $12.50 and it comes with everything you need to prepare your fingernails for application, okay? Um, there's a couple of different ways that you can identify your, um, your invisible cuticle. If you are a crunchy girl and you do not want to use any chemicals whatsoever, I suggest soaking your fingernails in vinegar to dry them out ever so slightly so that you can um, possibly see the little extra, um, it looks just like a little extra dry line there, but in between that little extra dry line and your cuticle is where there's actually the, uh, the dead skin cuticle growing, okay? So you just want to make sure you scrape that back, okay? You're gonna actually scrape it back. You can soak your fingernails in that vinegar and scrape that back. Um, for those of you who don't mind a little bit of chemical, um, there are a couple different options for you. At this moment, Jamberry does not have a chemical cuticle remover, which wink, wink, nudge, nudge, hopefully they will come out with in the future. But um, for now, there are two different brands that I have personally used. Um, this one right here is Dr. G's, and this one was at um, Sally Beauty Supply, and I wanna say it was 12 or $13. It is four ounces though. Now, this one is a thick cream consistency, and you just put it on your cuticle let it set for about a minute and then I actually um, use the more uh, the more gentle side which is this side of my cuticle pusher I use a gentler side and then push back my cuticles um, using the chemical cuticle remover allows it to be actually more gentle with the physical removal process okay um, another Another remover that's a, got a chemical quality to it is this one from Sally Hansen. And you can get this at your local drugstore if you do not have a, a Sally's Beauty Supply near you. Um, and this is just the Sally Hansen Instant Cuticle Remover. Now, this one is a thinner formula. It's a gel formula, but by I use that term gel very loosely. It's, 
it's very watery. Um, so this one is one ounce and the other one is four ounces. I actually prefer this one personally, but this one is a good alternative if you don't have this one or if you don't want to spend 12 bucks. I want to say this one was like $2.99 because it's a smaller amount. You really, it's going to take you forever to get through this bottle. Um, I'm down to here and I've been using it. I change out my jams about once every week or so and I've been using it since I guess June. So yeah, these, um, you can use inter one, either one of these interchangeably. So once you put that on, read the back instructions as to how long you want to leave it on, uh, push back your cuticles, and then wash your hands very well with Dawn dishwashing soap and water before you prepare your nails. And really that's all you need to do to get rid of that pesky invisible cuticle. I do hope that you find this, um, this helpful I hope that you never have this problem and you never need to use anything like that. But if you do, now you know a solution to it. And knowing is half the battle, right, G.I. Joes? All right, ladies out there, um, I will talk to you guys in my next video. If you have not subscribed to my channel now, girl, get to it. Click down there, subscribe, and you will get all of my beauty videos as well as my Jamberry tutorials. All right, I will see you guys later. Bye.